Hi everyone, I'm Gabriel from Oak Health and thank you so much for tuning in to our Oak Health series. Today we'll be taking a look at the differences between a virus and a bacteria. So for the similarities, there are two essential similarities between a virus and a bacteria. First, both can cause diseases or ailments. And secondly, the mode of transmission between a virus and a bacteria is usually from person to person. Let's now take a look at the differences between a virus and a bacteria. There are four differences between a virus and a bacteria. First, a virus is a non-living organism. Having said that, it requires a host for it to grow and replicate. A bacteria, on the other hand, is a living organism and it doesn't require a host for it to grow or replicate. It can usually stay on our skin or on the surfaces of our bodies. And second, size difference. A bacteria is much bigger if you compare it with a virus. Third, all viruses cause diseases or ailments. Whereas for bacteria, there are only a handful of bacteria which can cause diseases or ailments to a human being. A vast majority of it do not cause ailments or symptoms to the human body. A very good example is the vitagen that we drink. The vitagen contains a lot of gut bacteria, which is essential for the normal functioning of our gut health. And lastly, antibiotics would not work on a virus, whereas an antibiotic will work on a bacteria. For a virus to be destroyed, an antiviral medicine needs to be created or needs to be used for the virus to be eliminated. Now having known the differences between a virus and a bacteria, let us take a look at how TCM views a viral or bacterial infection. In the world of TCM, there are six pathogenic factors that can invade and affect a human body and cause diseases. These are Feng, Han, Su, Si, Zhao, and Re. Each one of these pathogenic factors can invade and affect the human body in various different ways. In view of this whole COVID-19 situation, when Feng and Han, these two pathogenic factors invade the human body, they can cause symptoms like chills, running nose, fever, cough, and even diarrhea, depending on the immune system of the individual. So immune system in TCM's perspective is known as the zhen qi or the vital qi. So how does a TCM physician detects the feng and han which invades the human body is usually through pulse taking. Through pulse taking, we are able to detect the external syndrome which is the feng or the han which invades the human body. And when we have a diagnosis, we will prescribe the necessary medicine which is required to help to eliminate the feng and the han from the body. And, when the, and both of these pathogenic factors are eliminated from the body, the human immune system is able to fight the condition and put the body back into balance. So in my next video, I will be sharing with you a little bit more on this thing called the zhen qi, your immune system. So when we understand more about our immune system and the pathogenic factors, we will then understand why disease occurs or why we, some of us, are more susceptible to disease as compared to another person. So stay tuned to my next video. So if any of you have any questions regarding what I have shared with you today, please feel free to comment on our comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Till next time.